Hey guys, it's Erica and Jess. Oh, welcome back to Twin R Knit. A knitting and style podcast. So today we're here with a small recap. Yeah. Of our week. Yep. Week six. Week six. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> um, my, I'm, I'm just gonna start because yeah. I, it's I. We I, probably won't be on here very long. <laughs> no. Um, I have a. I don't have a lot of progress because I, after finishing my other sweater your no limits my no limits sweater i kind of just took a break because i've been dealing with like yeah me too strained wrists and fingers so i've just been slowly working on my um perfect night scarf mm -hmm. i don't have a lot of progress but i love it this is uh madeline tosh yarn held together with chelsea lux mohair um, it is a Taylor Swift inspired mm. scarf with Taylor Swift inspired yarn from Madeline Tosh. How do you feel about knitting it now that uh, we have a new album to look forward to? Oh, I'm so excited. I am obsessed. Um, the pattern required a different needle. I actually had to go down to a size three needle mm -hmm. to get gauge, but I think it is worth it because like look at how it's like so cute yeah i don't like that you can see wrinkles but you know when it blocks you won't see wrinkles yeah it is super cute it is super cute um i still have a ton to knit so i think that's what i'm gonna do today after i finish you know organizing a little organizing bit. a little bit mm -hmm. um yeah that's it that's, that's literally it. everything i have which is you know, I I like doing these weekly podcasts instead of like monthly stuff because yeah. sometimes I think, you know, like if we do monthly podcasts, yeah, or How we used to do, or every so often whenever we had stuff to podcast, mm -hmm. people think that we knit like crazy people yeah. and we have a ton of stuff and they're like, "How are you constantly churning out stuff?" And well, you're like, this you see like the real flow of time where it's just like, <laughs> you know, well, it's like I finished the whole sweater, but now I'm kind of like Relax chilling. Yes, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm just okay. taking my leisurely so time. I'm going to show you. I'm like, it's not even close to being done. It's yes, it is. It doesn't feel that way. <laughs> my no limit sweater. Ta -da! Okay, so I guess compared, it is done. Jess. Okay, I guess compared to last week. Where I had this, yes. and I had to rip back all of this to re knit it. It's a lot. Of, it's you it's have pretty a lot. much done. Yeah. Um, I say it's not even close to being done because I'm in the home stretch, and I decided to do the fold over, and now I have regrets. <laughs> Don't regret. She's just being lazy. I. Don't want to knit 30 centimeters. Yes, you do. It's going to look so good. I mean, I'm going to do it. It's not like I'm not going to do it. I just want to complain <laughs> about it a little bit. Okay. Let me live. Okay, you can complain. <laughs> so, um, because I would have, if I would have stuck to my original plan, I would have had another um, yarn in between these. So, this one is Fashion School Dropout and this one is Passion Knits. I would have had the Bella Filato Studios, so it would have faded from, like, a lighter pink to the Fashion School Dropout pink to the dark pink. Hmm. And since I decided that I was going to do, tw like, the 20 cm, oh, I only did the 2, but now I'm, like, I'm just going to do the 30. You need to do the 30. I, I think you'll be happy with the 30. I will. I just, I'm just having a bad attitude right now because I just want it to be done because <laughs> I just want to wear it. But, um, yeah, I wanted to, I was literally knitting on this and I was like, I want to finish it for the podcast. And then I was like, huh, we don't do things for the podcast. We do things for ourselves. Yep. So I'm just going to show you <laughs> what I have done. Yes. And if it's done before next, before we cast on the Valentine's Day sweater, great. But if not, that's also okay because that is life. Because this knit through the sure. back loop, purl through the back loop. You're gonna, me. you're no, you're gonna get it done before the other sweater cast on. I want to, but I don't know if mentally I can. Oh, well, that's a different story. But physically, you could. <laughs> yeah, physically, I totally could. I, I think I just need to like, I did the bulk of this like from here throughout this with an audiobook, 
and I no longer have the audiobook because mm -hmm. I finished it. And so, like, I'm knitting with no background. Oh. So I think I just need to, like, put something on and just, like, power through it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. So I'm almost, I'm, like, like. You were, like, 95% done with this project. I know. And this is the thing. I always, always, always. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm like 95% done with a project, I like get bored and don't want to do it anymore. And I want to start something new. Yeah. And like, I'm really finding the feeling to just like pause this and literally do anything else. But you can. I know I can. But also I want it done because I see you wearing yours and I want to be cool wearing mine. Yeah. That's the struggle. It is the struggle. Um, That's kind of it for our projects. Yeah, that is for it for our projects. But I did get together my Valentine's Day because... Oh, I haven't done that yet. I need to. Oh, I wanted to because by the time you see this on Wednesday, it'll be Valentine's Day and we'll be casting these on. Yes. So I wanted to share... I But, okay, I wanted to share this because this is one of my favorite things to do when starting a new project is picking out a new bag and figuring out what knit kit I'm going to put in it and the whole... Spleel. So I like to put together my little bag. Because it's a neon cowgirl. Um, <laughs> I like to put my bag um, just because it's something fun to do because it's a whole new, like, it's a whole new project. And then it's like, it lives with you for however long you do your project. And it's like your go-to everything bag. My bag is the Black Pearl Magic Bag. It is pink and uh, red orange with cow print with a navy blue wax bottom canvas box bottom which is fun and in it I picked I mean technically this is like wintery vibes but I don't have a Valentine's Day knit kit but this will work well because it's pink and then I specifically I'm gonna use this it says nope on it it's a little fun conversation heart that a friend gave me a while ago. So I'm gonna use that, and of course, the red, the red yarn, and I'm just really excited to get that casted on. Um, I'm gonna need to buy some- Cable needles. Yes. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Cause I'm, made, I'm doing cable, so I need to Got buy it. cable needles. Got it, Got it. I don't want to help you. That's a lie. I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I was about. like, um, we both know I'm making a cabled sweater. And what do you need? I need to get one of those. I don't know. I'm like, you can get barber cords. Oh, I do no. have barber cords. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm excited about that. Me too. We are casting on February 14th. Mm -hmm. Just made some really cool, new, cute little assets. Just made cute little assets um, that you can use and share. Um, we will be posting those. Um, they're already on our, in a highlight. Yes, but it's cute. I keep saying cute, but they're really cute because you can put the yarn and the pattern, mm -hmm. tag us so we know that you're A, joining in and B, what you're making because yeah. we're excited. Um, I know that Jess said that she's making the uh, Perennial by Nora Gone in her Cory Worsted mm -hmm. by La Bien Ami. I'm making a classic, which is a free pattern, so you mm -hmm. can join me if you want, um, with Red Nose Reindeer, Cake Wool Mohair, and Fashion School Dropout Ula Johnson Slub, you know. Yeah. I was going to say mohair, but it's not mohair. It's just yarn. It's just slub. Um, but I'm excited. Me too. I'm excited to, like, be done with this project and go into something slightly different and I'm just really excited to have like a fancy like reason you to know like, to do like I would like like Jess and I keep talking about this when I say Jess and I it's just Erica Erica would like to order a heart-shaped oh, pizza yeah. from Domino's watch John Tucker must die yeah and do revenge double feature and cast on these sweaters yep yeah, that's so what I want. That's what I think we're going to do. I think that would be so fun. Yeah, it would be super low-key. You know, maybe go and get, you know, some chocolate. Not chocolate-covered strawberries because it gets crazy. But maybe just, like, some heart-shaped chocolate and just kind of, like, chill. Yeah. I just want, like, a really fun, easy, like, Galentine's Day, mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, like, thing. Yeah. 
I just think that'd be fun. So before we do mail time, yeah. which I love when we have mail time, it's so fun.